To access the application, you go in here in the Tools menu on the compensation.blr.com site, and you go to the BLR, double-click on the, on the icon, and it brings this opening splash screen up. And it's Welcome to the Compensation Analyzer. And it has some material here explaining about the benefits and the features of the application. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is really uh, designed to help the user figure it out for the first time in. Uh, one of the nice features that we have here is this getting started, which is designed to help take people into the application. If you click on a link here, it puts a check mark in there, as you can see, and it also takes you to that part of the site. So that's just a way to get the user in there. And the check marks there are just show, to show them that they've looked at it. Uh, they don't have to do that, but uh, the idea is that uh, it will show them the features and help them get in there. So that's what those check marks are doing. Now the application itself has three major parts. It has data and it has reports. Uh, the reports are really what the user wants to get out of it, but in order to get that they have to put some data in. Uh, the whole idea of this application is to give the user some pretty powerful tools for analyzing their compensation data and for storing their data in, into the site. And by putting in minimal organization data, the grade system, uh, the jobs that the company has, its employees, its demographic profile that you want to use, and comparison data, I can then use these reports which give me pretty powerful information about our employees. For, as I showed you, the compa ratio and the penetration ratios and all of these other ratios. So, we feel that we've created an application that will allow uh, employers to uh, put in their own data, to keep a record of it, and then to easily compare that data against all the data that's in the BLR, compensation.blr database. Uh, we've been listening to sales and customer service for a number of years, and we feel that we've come up with uh, an application that will serve a lot of the needs that customers have demonstrated to us and think, and by delivering to them things that they've asked for. Uh, we weren't able to give everything everybody wanted. Uh, we made some compromises in the interest of getting the application up and running. Our goal here is to get it up and to uh, show it to customers, allow them to use it, and as we identify areas where they would like further development, we can go back and, and do those. Uh, so the, the job right now of customer service and sales is to get started, to introduce employers to it, to introduce our users to it, and facilitate them and keep track of what they find useful so that we can come back with uh, improvements that they want. I'm quite excited about this. It's something that I've been working on for a long time, and I hope that uh, it will work for our customers and uh, if it does that I'm sure it'll work for sales and customer service as well. As this goes forward if you have any questions please feel free to work out reach out to me to get them get them answered. Okay, so here's an example of help. Uh, here is the help menu. Uh, this is about the organization tab because that was where we were pretty straightforward. It has screenshots in here. I think it will help the user. And then it has these anchor links, which will take them to specific parts of, the, of this help screen. Uh, this help is not searchable at this point, but if the user wants to find um, a specific part, specific section, you can do find, and it will find it in that, in that screen. So these are good location, good uh, navigation items, these anchor links. And once they're in here, they can go to any part of the help using this navigation.